Welcome. To Arcade Audio. Germs, welcome, welcome, welcome to Dilettante Ball. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilettante Ball, we go on Wikipedia. We click random article. And we talk about it. Yeah, we do. Less you know, nice. Halloween mm. came mm-hmm. and went. Mm. And I'll do I'll do a little, little recap of my Halloween experience. Okay. But I will also say that now that it's gone, I'm, I'm excited for the Creep 2K18. I really do feel like it's already started. I'm also excited for that Christmas creep now. You know, like we're on it. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, dude. I was walking downtown on October 30th, and Macy's had its fucking Christmas decorations up, and I was like, "Fuck Halloween, fuck Thanksgiving. We're just going right for it, huh?" You know, I saw Chris Kindle Market. Mm, yep, it's being, it's it, it'll it be opens, done like next week. It opens November 17th. Wow. Okay, that's crazy. I'm ready. I'm I mean, ready. I mean, let's let's go for it. Like whatever. Yeah. Um, that being I mean, Thanksgiving might as well just be Columbus Day, as far as I'm concerned. Like, okay, cool. Like, yeah, for real, for real. You know, like, okay, I get five days of work off. Like, whatever, fine, I'll take it. But, do you think there will eventually be sort of the Indigenous same People's Day? Yeah, like the same sort of backlash. I, oh, uh, for, Thanksgiving? for Thanksgiving as as there is for Columbus. I don't Day? know. I mean, it depends on how you want to spin Thanksgiving. You know. I, I don't. Is, is it like just literally a day of thanks? You know, like sort of like Christmas, where it's like, look, don't worry about the Jesus stuff so much. It's a, it's you know, Lord knows I don't. Right. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like a holiday where you're just thankful for the things you have is a very nice concept. Yes, I, I, and I guess I don't know enough about the actual history of it to, right. to say. And that's that's on me, I guess. But uh, well, I just know like the yeah the I, image I, you have of like these new pilgrims hanging out with the nice happen, Indians. Yeah. Like, I mean, no, no matter what, like. It was bad for the people living here that right, that right. that Europeans showed up. Right. So yeah, like when you get down to the root of it, is it we're thankful that we killed everybody? Like, is that what it was about? You know, no, we're thankful that we robbed all of their intelligence, right. to to not die. Yeah, yeah, for real. I don't know. Anyway, you can plant a fish with maize to help it grow. Uh, but rem- if you teach a plant to fish, <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, what? I don't know. You, you'll have maze forever. <laughs> um. Anyway. Yeah. I, Wait, uh, is that real? Or are you talking about Stardew Valley recipes? Because no, in Stardew Valley, you can make good fertilizer with fish and sap. I remember learning that that the the Native Americans taught the pilgrims to plant a fish with their corn. Again, <laughs> I mean, this was a very... Yeah. I mean, what, I, whitewash would be a nice way of putting it. I'm sure. Yeah. What What is a public school in Florida going to teach you about? Yeah. Thanksgiving. Right. Um, but anyway, Halloween. Hmm. Thursday the 26th. I was down in Florida, and you better believe I went to Halloween Hard Nights, the nation's premier Halloween event this year. Mm-hmm. We we put up the extra cash. We got the express. Okay. And what was that? Skip all the lines, baby. All the lines. We did everything in one night, and it was a oh, delight. Holy shit. Yeah. How many how many houses do you think you hit? I know mm. I hit nine. Wow, nine! That's a lot of scares. How many? The SPMs were through the roof. That was my next question. Yeah. Okay. It was great. It oh, was it was boy. a blast. It was a blast. Uh, God, Ru- I don't know if I could handle it. Friend of the network, Rudy oh, Mendoza. Of uh, our he, he joined us, and it was the first time he'd been since he was a wee lad. Mm-hmm. He loved it. He loved every minute. Of oh it. boy. Yeah. It was it was great. It was great. I don't even know how. I don't even know what I. I, I don't think I've ever done a haunted house. You should come back, man. Maybe I will. You should for real. It's the best. Uh, I I think I'd be okay doing it with with like with y'all. I I think I got I did one when I was like too little. I think I'm thinking of one in particular. There was a place in Orlando, and the name of it escapes me. Um, but the front of it, the facade had a giant oh Skull w- Kingdom wizard. I know oh. what you're talking about. It's um, a fortress made of a giant skull. Yeah. No. That's not there anymore. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Uh, I know what you're talking about. It's like right outside the entrance to Universal. Yeah, I, I believe so. And and they had like just like a little rinky dink sort of haunted house, but it just scared me because I was just too young. And I think just it scared me. There was a haunted house in Old Town in Orlando that oh, I always wanted to go to. Okay. But I never did because I was always too afraid. Yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of thing where like I, I talk to people now who are like, oh, I, I can't watch scary movies. They're too scary. And th- that's because, like, the last movie they watched was, like, you know... They watched The Exorcist when they were four. Exactly, like- exactly. Because the same thing happened to me. And then I watched, like, a string of scary movies in college for, like, essentially the first time. I was like, oh, oh, no, I'm good. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm sure it's the exact same thing. Yeah. What was the best scare? Or the best house, maybe? Um, I'll tell you, 
there, the, uh, the, there were a couple original houses that were great. Mm. There was one where it was like in the swamp and it was definitely supposed to be like New Orleans. Oh, okay. But Why? The, you walk into a house and the house is like sunken into the swamp. Okay. So the floor is like tilted as you're walking through. Was it, it kind of like mushy too? It wasn't mushy. Okay. That'd be, a, that'd be pretty good. But I was like, how is this legal? Like this is the most dangerous thing of all sure, time. Yeah. You've had to purposely break building codes to. Yeah. yeah. It was great. <laughs> was that the scariest thing? Like, oh boy, these studs aren't properly spaced I- apart. <laughs> <laughs> Four and a half feet. Yeah, this is not a regulation door frame. <laughs> uh, there was another one that was like, it was like in a church, mm-hmm. but just like demons took over. Uh, cool. That was very cool. That's fun. I like that. Yeah, it was great. It was a great time. And then there were there were also there was a, a one based on Saw. Um, oh. There was one based on Ash versus Evil Dead, which was very fun. Okay. Even yeah, though I've, fun. I've never seen I've never seen it, but it was it was a it was a it was a hoot. They, they can't be that much that you. I mean, yeah. What could there possibly be that you don't already know about? Right. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, it was great. Hmm. You wanna, wanna yeah. do the podcast? Yeah, let's do the podcast. Okay. Dang. You know, I know we said we were excited for Christmas. Uh-huh. But I think it's time to go all the way back around. <laughs> Halloween Creep 2K18. The Telltale Head. The Telltale Head? It's the eighth episode of The Simpsons' first season. No way. It originally aired on the Fox Network in the United States on February 25th, 1990. It was written by Al Jean, Mike Reese, Sam Simon, and Matt Groening, and directed by Rich Moore. In the episode, Bart cuts the head off the statue of Jebediah Springfield in the center of town to impress Jimbo, Kearney, and Dolph, three older kids he admires. The town's residents, including the three boys, are horrified, and Bart regrets his actions. After telling his family, Homer and Bart head to the center of town where they are met by an angry mob. After Bart tells the mob he made a mistake, the townspeople forgive Bart, and he places the head back on the statue. The episode's title is a reference to the short story, The Telltale Heart, by Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, I know that part. That was the eighth episode ever? That's crazy. That one, to me, feels like such a classic. Which, I mean, there you go, eighth episode. I've never seen it. I, I, I know that Bart, the Bartman does it, though. Oh, we all know the Bartman does it. The Bartman, do, yeah, don't have a cow, dude. The Bartman does it. <laughs> what are some other classic Bartman pranks? Oh, wedgies, for sure. Oh, big time. Skateboarding naked. Writing El Barto on everything. <laughs> does he even do, like, he slingshot stuff, maybe? I feel like he doesn't actually do any of that. Right. But he but only all... does it on, like, bootleg t-shirts. <laughs> And maybe the arcade version, he does some things like that. There's a, speaking of bootlegs, there's uh-huh. a Twitter account. Just it's just called Bootleg Stuff. <laughs> oh, it's just Bootleg Stuff. It's so good. I uh, the one I'll, is if it's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's tons of like Bootleg Simpsons stuff. Which Bo- you, you bootleg forget. Simpsons is my favorite. It was there was a lot of that stuff going on in the early '90s. Do you remember there was a Portlandia sketch? Mm, I don't think I've seen this. Where um one one character makes. A t-shirt or something that says Bart Skompson and it's like Bart skanking to like ska music <laughs> and Matt Groening like sues him oh okay, okay. It's, the, it's very funny God, but that's so good I mean Bart man b- bootleg Simpson stuff is like the best it's very funny it's the best um this is not exactly the same thing but I'm going through and watching old episodes of Monday Night Raw and there's this tag team I don't even know if they have, Oh, they, they, I don't even know what their names are. It's the Road Dog and Jesse James, or the Road doesn't matter. It's oh, it's badass Billy Gunn, Pat Lynch, and Taco <laughs> Pat Bob. Lynch and Taco Bob. It's uh, yeah, it's Mr. Ass and <laughs> and his buddy, the Road Dog, Jesse James, <laughs> and they're like ring gear. You know how some guys will wear like a vest or like tights with yeah, sure. you know a rose on it or something like that. Their ring gear is just South Park t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> there so was it'll be like a half shirt, like they've cut into a half shirt, and it'll be it'll, it'll be Cartman that says "Respect my authority." There was definitely a lot of bootleg South Park too yeah. back in the day. Yes, it's just very good. I don't know what that is. It's just it's good. It, people wanting to express themselves before the internet is that what it is? It's like you have all the cable and television, but none of the the internet. I think it's people wanting to make money. Yeah, it's well, like, so I like, like people in like high school parking lots or something. I like The Simpsons, mm. and I like w- w- literally anything. Yeah, right. And I and I own an airbrush stand in this kiosk <laughs> at the mall. Oh man, can you imagine that? Just that was if that was your job, airbrush kiosk salesman. You wanted to say Bart Soupson? <laughs> okay, because you like soup. All right, I'll make his head a bowl of soup. Bart Soupson. <laughs> What is there anything else that did that? Like, 
it would have to. I guess it would have to be like that kind of like not. I want to describe the Simpsons as subversive necessarily, but uh, I bet there was some there there was some Family Guy stuff oh, like that wow, too. Wow, I could totally see that. But I, I I think Simpsons was the biggest by far. Yeah, because Simpsons was also like the biggest thing of all time. Yeah, it's t- still kind of is. Then then probably South Park because also it was in that sweet spot mm-hmm. in the nineties mm-hmm. where it was like, I, I don't know what it was, but people maybe were getting access to in home screen printing or something yeah. like you know. <laughs> What is it about the '90s where shit like that started happening? I don't know. Like, was it because of the like? Did it have anything to do with like punk rock in the '80s becoming more like mainstream, maybe or something? I don't know. Not that the Simpsons is necessarily punk rock, but you know what I mean. Like, Simpsons shit like the Simpsons wasn't getting played in like 1980. Right. Right. You know, it was getting played what? in 1990. Yeah, MTV, baby. What? What is that? I don't know. Hmm. Is it Vietnam? You know what I like? I'm kind of right. Like I'm kind what, of being serious. What like, is the thing? What is yeah. the thing? I I don't I don't know. I don't know. Like was the culmination of like this the summer of love and the counterculture was the culmination of that Bart Sompson, Soupson, <laughs> Bart Soup song. <laughs> <laughs> was that it? Like thanks, mom and dad. How was Woodstock? I have you, a Bart Soup songs T-shirt. And you know you could go to like, you could go to any country. Uh huh. Oh and, yeah. And in in the in the like tourist shops, it would be like yeah. Uh, d- cheerio, mate! I'm bought. <laughs> like, but, You're what? right. Don't have a crown, man. <laughs> 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 oh, I mean, man. Uh, yeah, I feel like you could go to like, like a remote tribe in the middle of like the any, the anywhere. rainforest. Yeah, I'm like, do you know who this is? And hold a picture of Jesus. And I'm like, like no. no. Who's this though? Oh, it's Bart. Oh, it's it's Bert Sing Song. Yeah. <laughs> It's Bert Stanfield. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> but why? I don't know. I wish I knew. Do you think maybe that's like the new Mickey Mouse? Okay. Are we on to something there? Adult Mickey Mouse, maybe? Well, Mickey Mouse is for, for children and people from the 20s. Yes. You know? And that was the world's logo at one point. Like, that was, you know. We did it. We We're did here. it. We're done here. Yeah. Yeah, Mickey Mouse is like from the fifties, and we're done here. And now it's time for Mickey's son, Bart Blamp Sam. <laughs> oh man, Bark Simpson. It's oh, a like dog. a dog. Yeah, a big. Oh, okay. there, you know, there was a big dog T-shirt that said Bark Simpson. Oh my god. Yeah, and maybe like a Spuds McKenzie sort of crossover or something. <sighs> Spuds McKenzie's very good too, though. But Spuds McKenzie is the Bart Simpson of dogs. Yeah, yeah, right? yes, I will agree with that. I don't even know if there's like a debate there. That's I like that we know everything about Spuds McKenzie, and it was like 20 years before we watched TV. Absolutely. I don't, I, yes. He was the original party animal <laughs> for Miller Lite? Oh, you've gone too far now. I don't know. Bud? Uh, Coors, maybe? I mean, I can name some things, but. he was. I know he was the original party animal, for sure. That is for sure. He had a skateboard. I know that he was one of those like uh, rocket face dogs. Yes. I wish like I'd the do- target dog. The target dog is, is. Ooh, is he related to Spuds McKenzie? He's maybe they're like brothers in law. <sighs> By marriage? By marriage, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you two brothers? No, yeah, we get that all the time. Like, no, we're not. He, we he, hang married, out a lot. he married my sister. <laughs> yeah. Although who's who is his sister though? <laughs> is Wishbone a girl? Maybe it's Wishbone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah, like the Noid. I know about the Noid. He's up in the mix too. We had a Noid cup. Yeah, or it was like a sports cup, but you could. Um, this is so stupid. It was like accordion, so you could like stretch you increase it up. the volume of the cup. Mm-hmm. That's wild. Why not just make a big cup? But sometimes you want a small cup. <laughs> just don't, just don't fill the big what cup all the way. <laughs> what is that? No, 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 but sometimes it gets bigger. Yeah, but I always want it bigger. It's too small otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Did it did it come from Domino's or yeah, yeah, it was, okay? It was officially licensed, so it wasn't a bootleg. Avoid the noise. Mm-hmm. You don't see too much bootleg. Like you don't see too much bootleg Star Wars. Really, there's no like. They probably put the kibosh on that shit. I bet back in like the seventies, maybe. There's no like um, or the eighties, I guess. I don't know, like like some weird like Garth Vader, and it's Garth from Wayne's World. Garth you know? Vader though is good. That's my next Halloween costume. Fuck. I mean, it's not good, but it's funny. What would the Wayne counterpart be? Um, we'll get it. <laughs> Princess Wayna? 
Okay, I don't hate that. I don't hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it either, but it's not great. Because <sighs> no, I mean, the more just... I think about it, the worse the pun is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's barely it's hanging not, on by It's no thread. Garth Vader. No, like, Garth Vader is, is very good. I mean, you can't just like cop out and be like, yeah, Wayne Skywalker, like Luke Wayne Walker. Luke Skywainer? <laughs> Luke Skywainer. <laughs> Wayne Campbell was his name, right? Yeah. Okay. Wayne Doe? <laughs> Instead of Lando? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could Mace Wayne do. Wayne, w- wait, wait. Wayne Do Cam Felician. <laughs> Blurg Stringman. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's there. It's there. Wayne Amidal. <laughs> Uncle Owen. <laughs> <laughs> that might be it. <laughs> They're all, I mean, Grand Moff Tarquin. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> right, but I mean, what are you going to do, I guess? Garth Vader's just so good. It's right there, yeah. That's that's really what I want is like, a, yeah. Yeah, because like Wayne and Tilly's is just like a cop out. It's nothing. No, it is nothing. Kylo Wayne. <laughs> what? Kylo Wayne? Kylo Wayne. Did we try Obi Wayne Kenobi? Fuck, that's it. <laughs> Smell you later. <laughs> Would you say that this season was just strange things? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> there were some pretty strange things. I mean, there were. That, well, you know, stranger what? than season one. No, strange. Season one was stranger. Okay, so yeah. these were just strange. I things. guess these were just strange things. Thank you for playing Arcade Audio. Play more at ArcadeAudio.net.